Let's try one ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Please rise. They invited you here today because you are dear to them. And also, you came today because they are dear to you. Secondly, you are here today to stand in witness. To witness their love. To witness their vows to one another. To witness the covenant that they will make to one another before God. And thirdly, as witnesses... Your presence here today communicates a level of affirmation and commitment to them, to their marriage, their family, and their future. God, we thank you for this beautiful day and this beautiful venue with a beautiful couple. Two hearts, to who today will make covenant before you to be joined as one. God, we ask today that your will would be done that your name would be glorified and that we would know your love for all of us as well as your love that is abundantly present between Kyle and Winnie. Marriage is an institution created by God for our good, for his purposes, and for his glory. You will not be the best wife because you find the right YouTube marriage gurus or the right books to read, you'll be the best wife that you can be by pursuing Jesus Christ with all of your heart. And similarly, His Holy Spirit will work in your heart to help you selflessly serve one another. I can't help that you ready. To be my wife. And I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in plenty and in want in joy and in sorrow in sickness and in health as long as we both shall live Winnie I Winnie take you Kyle to be my husband and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in plenty and in want in joy and in sorrow in sickness and in health as long as we both shall live you two have rings I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. May it be a constant reminder 
that I am yours and you are mine. Winnie, just place the ring on Kyle's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. May it be a constant reminder that I am yours and you are mine. things that I equate to dancing. One is life, and the second one is marriage. And we can go through this dance of life and this dance of marriage and be stepping on people's toes all the time. And when you do that, you still have to, even though because you're doing the stepping, you have to apologize whether or not you were the cause of it or not. But um, in this dance of life 
in this dance of marriage, we have an instructor. His name is Jesus Christ. You know, 31 years ago, a new life came into my family. I held her hands, taught her how to walk. Today, here in Wisconsin, I'm still holding her hand, but this time it's to hand her to Kyle. I hope you can respect each other, support each other, live with each other's flow, and build a better life together. Today, I come to witness this wedding uh, with joy and grateful. I would like to say thank you all in person. Thank you for your love and the support to Winnie and Tyre. Thank you. Uh, we've shared countless adventures, both heroic and at times just plain embarrassing. <laughs> I wish you both the best and happiest lives together. Uh, he told us that he has a taser, so I'm going to keep it about that PG. Love you, brother. Then we went to high school together. We actually went to Hartford High School. And then after high school, we graduated. I went on uh, to the Marine Corps, did the reserve thing there. Kyle went on to become a forest ranger down south somewhere. I mean, uh, Army Ranger. And it goes like this. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. I've been warned Kyle's got a taser and I'm limited to what I can say. Um, you know, first of all, I just want to toast to both parents here. You raised some great kids and, you know, I'm honored that I was able to be here and able to share this day with both of you and everybody. So, toast to the parents. Some good tips on living with Kyle. First of all, if he makes a pound of bacon, let him eat it. Even if it takes 10 minutes, just let him do it. Maybe you'll join him. Here I was all worried for nothing. I thought for sure if anybody was going to. <laughs> My name's Kenny, um, best man. Me and Kyle have been friends four or five years old, I'm not sure anymore. Um, there's very little we have not done together. I never thought I would see this day until he met Winnie. Um, Life-changing. Uh, truly blessed to also have Winnie and Lawrence and Jane um, in our family as well. Um, hello everyone. Um, this is Jenny, the little sister. Um, of the stunning bride today and first I want to thank you all um, all of you being here to celebrate this new marriage and then especially um, for Kyle's mom Donna and Doc um, I know that you like put a hundred percent efforts on this wedding for the preparation and also all the mental supports and also, I want to thank you, uh, my parents, Jen and um, Lawrence. They fly. Uh, they flew like 8,000 miles from Taiwan to Wisconsin. So really um, appreciate for that. I remember that um, Winnie and I, like, we fought each other like all the time when we were little, of course. However, my mom always asked me to be kind to her. Well obvious my mom knows who has a bad manner right <laughs> she was just like standing aside and then just laughing Kyle it's your <laughs> wife <laughs> but our relationship has been like always been solid and even we fought a lot we share a room until she uh, moved off to college I think Winnie is really a like thoughtful girl. She always know her own mind and so independent. For me, she is my idol, to be honest. So I want to say thank you for loving her the way she deserves. 
I wish you both all the wellness and happy long life together. To the grooms and the bride. So I want to thank you, my parents-in-law, my girls, um, the guys, and my parents who flew a whole world, um, half a world, to be here. And allow me to say something in Chinese. Um, Cal is an honest, faithful, loving, and caring person, but at the same time, the most soft hearted person I've ever seen. I look at his profile, and here was what Kyle said about himself. A hunter, a person who rides motorcycle, scuba diving, drink coffee, a veteran, and a volunteer. Honestly, I was impressed, but at the same time wondering if they were true. And then I saw another note on Kyle's profile. He was looking for a Christian woman within 200 miles of West Bend. Obviously, I was not. I was living in Nevada doing my internship in Tesla. So the first thing I asked Kyle was, Hi, hope you are having a good day, but hmm, you seem to be a bit far. To my groomsmen, um, thanks for not getting too crazy with your speeches today. Although I did kind of want to use my taser tonight. Winnie and I have been together for a little under two years now. And uh, during that relatively short period of time, I feel like we've been through a lot together. From starting, uh, starting and maintaining a long distance relationship during the COVID environment, to each of us getting new jobs, starting new jobs, to her moving to a new state, to me almost dying in a motorcycle accident, to us being by my grandma's side as the Lord called her home, getting married, and all of this while she's still relatively new to the country. Now, it wasn't always easy going through these things, but I emphasize it all, because when I think back on it, it gives me great, great comfort to know that as long as we keep the Lord the center of our marriage, we'll be able to take on anything this world has to throw at us. And looking back at these last couple of years, even through everything, the Lord has definitely blessed us. And Winnie, you're a strong, beautiful woman who has an immensely caring heart. And I consider myself incredibly lucky to have you by my side for the rest of my life. I love you.
Dive into the 